Go now to our homeless crisis. Neighbors say people living in RVs along a section of Northeast Sandy Boulevard are stealing from them and making them feel unsafe. Residents say one homeless person even threatened to burn their homes down if they called the police. Blair Best reports. This neighborhood off Northeast Sandy Boulevard and 143rd, once a safe haven for those 55 and older. Pretty nice place to live. We didn't have too much trouble. Now trouble is all they seem to have. What I'm running into now is pure hell. This homeless camp lining the entrance to Garden Meadows formed a few weeks ago after the city cleared them from the nearby Park Rose High and Middle Schools. It's just the latest camp that's set up along this stretch. They're basically saying, we don't care about you guys. You know, it's only it's about us. Many of these residents have lived here for more than a decade and say the homeless people steal from them, break into their garages and run generators, which keeps them up at night. Every morning I go out, I look out my window to see what have they stolen out of my yard. You can't sleep. You get woke up every night. It's just, you know, it's it's not. It's not why we pay taxes. All of this makes them feel unsafe in their own home. I wake up every morning looking at, out my window at the homeless people, looking through my window, looking back at me. When I take my dog out at night to, to go potty, I have my gun with me. This week, someone living in the camp threatened to set their homes on fire if they called the police. I'm about at my breaking point. I've had enough of it and I've been thinking about moving. But even when they do call police, they don't hear back. The Portland Police North Precinct Neighborhood Response Team says they've never responded in person to issues at this camp. They ain't handling nothing, period. Feels like you're being avoided and and ignored. I've been on this location two different times, this last time since June, the end of June. Camus Wright lives in one of the campers. I tell him I try to find a new place all the time. I just don't have anybody to move my trailer at the moment, and I try to keep my spot clean. But even though she's part of the camp, she too feels unsafe. I do, yeah, every day. Because there are people out here that are kind of, you know, they look threatened. Like they're going to, you know, they can harm you or you do get threatened. As we were talking with those living out on this strip, a homeless couple broke into our news car. They smashed the window and stole all of our electronics and personal belongings. After about 30 minutes, police showed up, at which point our things were long gone. At some point, you, you, your compassion just runs out. You don't have any anymore. The city of Portland need to do something to stop this madness. The city says this camp is on their radar and they plan to clear it soon. Now, as for our news car that got broken into, it really just goes to show the brazenness of these types of crimes happening in Portland. Given we had just finished talking with the couple who did it and we weren't far down the street when it happened. In Northeast Portland, Blair Best, KGW News.